I'm going to harvest my first pumpkin. This plant kind of just died out and the pumpkin's still attached. So I don't know if it says that the stem should be brittle. Kitten, what are you doing, kitten? Let me know. Hi, kitten. But this one's not brittle yet. But the plant is dead. So I don't know if I should cut it off or if I should just leave it till the stem gets dried out. This one is also almost ready to harvest. The stem is not dried out yet though, so it's still doing its thing. That one looks like it's starting to turn orange. That little guy didn't last, so let's go ahead and take him off and give him to the pigs or her or whatever to the pigs. kind of cool that it's just like a vine. They got fucked up in the wind. So it's not the greatest because there's no little leggy to like hold it from twisting and stuff. Whoops. I got both of them right now. So hold on. Ah, come on, Ouija. Stop being a puppy. Anyway, she's back in compliance though and she can't haul ass across the yard towards no birds anymore. I mean, she could probably slip out of that, let's be real. But she's deterred because she wants to be a good girl. Ain't she a good girl? Look at you, tripod. I'm going to have to put Ouija back because you're annoying and I can't get videos with you and Bella. Because I just want to run. But we're not in the wild anymore. All of my <laughs> it doesn't really fit her good, but the other day... Stop it! What are you doing? Bella, come on. Bella, let's go. clean the bathroom and then I clean the kitchen yeah look Ouija did this Ouija went out there and got uh, both bones for Max but Max is being mean he don't want to play I told my mom last night that maybe if she would have taken me camping more and or let me go to cooler summer camps when I was a child, I might not have fucking bailed off to Slap City for the last five years like I did. Joking, not joking. Take your kids camping. Bella's growling at the horse. This is why the mosquitoes are so bad. There's stagnant water down through here. Wait, wait. What are you doing? No, remember when we were in the living room a couple of weeks ago and she was barking at the TV? I put fucking Planet, I, I put Planet of the Apes on there. Oh no. She saw the fucking picture of the ape and started barking at the fucking TV. Uh. Alright, so the cross is, uh, is gold. So I need you to pick out an, an or green. So I need you to pick out another cross. My mom sent this home with me the other day, and this is dangerous, man. I've been turning this up. I'm getting fat here in Florida. Stop feeding me. What are you doing? Bella, let's go. Come here. 
anybody that's from the south knows that there's a feeling like right before it rains where it feels like weather it feels like weather it's about to rain all right because it's gonna rain soon it's very windy and Ouija's scared of the leaves blowing she was creeping creeping and then the leaves went whoosh, and she freaked out it's my slab dog my tough brave slab dog when I go outside, Bella and Ouija look at me like I'm fucking crazy. I was very, very mean to the budget lady I just talked to, um, who probably couldn't do anything more to help me than they already did. And so basically, I was mean for no reason. I didn't mean to be. That's not how it started out. I was fr frustrated with this rental situation. where it. But at the end of the day, it costs what it costs to rent that car. And if they want to throw on a $500 hidden fee that I shouldn't be liable for, then you know what I mean. Um, brace yourself because they might hit me with two of them before it's over. I, I did have possession of two cars, right? <clears throat> I won't be able to find out for a couple days, though. But it, with all that being said, like I, I, uh, I was kind of rude to the lady on the phone, and it's not her fault. It's not like she put the charge on there. It's not like, uh, yeah, I think her name was Zania. I wrote it down. Budget treats their employees like shit, sets them up to fail, um, in addition to other scammy type practices. But again, like, I, uh, I feel like a piece of shit for being mean to that rep. In the moment, it didn't feel like that's what I was doing, but after I got off the phone, I almost instantly felt like a bully. Um, 